back with another travel vlog. This has been a long time coming. We have just arrived in Berlin a few hours ago and we've just checked into our hotel. We're staying at the Pullman, which is amazing. We've only just checked into our room, but first I'm gonna give you a really quick room tour before we make this whole room messy. Look at this bed. So we had the option of a big bed or a small bed, I think. Who's gonna say a small bed? <laughs> this is a big one. I love the little mustard vibes here. We also have the option of a street view or a quiet view. So we've gone for quiet. It's a really beautiful sunny day out here actually. And it's not even too cold. I've literally just been walking around in a t-shirt and a scarf. So for mid-March, which I would not do this at home currently, it's pretty good weather. And there's obviously a big TV here, a little shelf station, perfect for makeup, I guess. I don't know what's in this drawer. Cupboard, sorry. Oh, mini bar. Okay, we won't be using this, obviously. <laughs> little refreshment station. I think a complimentary bottle of water, some glasses. Here is a wardrobe, pretty standard. Oh, robes and slippers, I love and just the usual a safe you know there's also a little luggage station here and on this side is the bathroom so there's a big shower we had the option of a bath or a shower we've gone for a shower um, which is obviously a lot more practical there we go nice big mirror great lighting look at these products co bigelow County Bigelow, I don't know what these products are. There's obviously the loo, big sink, which I love, hair dryer, perfect, and we have this like gigantic mirrored door. Oh, it's a mirror on both sides. This is so cool. Do you know what? Oh, there is just nothing that compares to walking, oh, this lighting is awful on my skin. Nothing that compares to walking in to like a five star luxurious hotel where you know that everything is just going to be great like i just don't think i'm cut out for the three star and below life possibly even four star after being spoiled with this one but it's such a beautiful hotel it's very clean minimal the decor at reception is just insane isn't it just yeah. That's what sold it to me. I haven't taken any photos yet, but we've literally just checked in. Like I said, I've still got my, <laughs> I've still got my handbag around my neck. So later on, I will show you the hotel lobby. I just love it. It's very art deco with a mix of industrial, great pops of color. I'm just so into interiors and it's amazing. So yeah, we're gonna chill for a bit, charge up our well, devices and um, I'll show you what we get up to in Berlin once we figure it out ourselves. Yep. We had such an early start this morning that we've just um, had a bit of downtime in the hotel really. Walked around, explored a little bit, took some photos and now we're off for like an early dinner, lunch. It's like 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock. Look at how awful my skin is. It's, it's all this mask wearing again, honestly. And obviously an early flight coupled with no sleep. Um, do you want to be my vlog? Look who I'm with. Hi. <laughs> so the three of us are here on this trip to Berlin. I feel so out of practice vlogging because it's literally been six months. August was my last one. Is it not pleasant? Did you just touch something sticky? No. Oh, right, because when you looked at your hands, you were like, ooh, isn't it worth it? I was thinking. Oh. Anyway, so we're going to, uh, is it Where's Vietnamese? Where's your mask? Where's your mask? Where's your mask? Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> Vietnamese? Thai? It's like a pan. Pan Asian. Asian. Oh, it's sushi and Vietnamese restaurant, which is yep. like a 10 minute walk from the hotel. That is our plan. And yeah. Stand. Here's the girl that waits for the green man to cross. <laughs> Anyone would think you don't live in London. Do you know how many times I... just popped into a supermarket called Adeka. I just love looking at foreign food and they've got a huge vegan section here. Loads of brands that we haven't heard of. These steaks, vegetarian steaks look nothing like steak. I think I've seen this brand somewhere in the UK before. They've got quite a lot of stuff here, haven't they? Garden gourmet. Yeah, there's loads. Oh, veggie schnitzel, mini schnitzel. Oh, we have Vivera, but they have different things in different countries. We don't have these uh, spinach and 
kale? Kale, maybe. Interesting. Oh, mortadella. Is that some sort of ham? I don't know what half this stuff is. Hmm, very interesting. Morning, it's our first full day in Berlin today. We woke up really early, we had great intentions. Of course that never really pans out. We've just been walking around the city trying to find breakfast and Benita found us this really great place called the Visit Eatery Coffee Roastery. Coffee's meant to be great, loads of vegan options. The menu looks perfect and now she looks super excited. <laughs> Oh my god, she's been looking everywhere for one of these. Um, we're so hungry, it's like 10 a.m. I've been awake for two hours. I did buy a nice coffee for myself from the supermarket yesterday and it really wasn't very nice. It was very like chocolatey and not very coffee-y and not really what you want in the morning. My mouth kind of tasted a bit furry. Um, so at first I thought it was fizzy, which is so weird. Um, they do a hummus bake. <laughs> and they are playing Chris Brown in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's really gonna make our meal so much better. Um, there's so many great things. Let me show you this menu. They do like super bowls. This um, fried hummus bagel sounds very strange. Did you find out about that? Is it fried? Oh, right. And then they do like so many great things. So hopefully the food is good. Vegan croissant. Espresso macchiato. sightseeing tour we just bought some tickets for it um because that bus stops and most of our um stops we want to go to did you guys like breakfast yeah i loved it <laughs> yeah just nice, nice. it's actually freezing isn't it like it's quite warm in the sun but the sun just keeps coming in and going out so the sun has been too <laughs> please please <laughs> sing for us no i don't want to ruin everyone's day just you want to sing for us um no Okay, I'm not either. <laughs> hip, 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 hooray! Bye! Let me go solo. fountain there was no water in the fountain and said there was like a protest going on for Syria and now we're circling the TV tower which we can actually see there we actually just can't we can't find our way in oh yeah okay now we've seen a sign there's no, the two prices one's along the yeah, way yeah but we need to buy tickets and that's probably what the you can buy it online as well right anyway so we're gonna go to the TV tower yeah, to hopefully get some really good views of the city Nishi said, hopefully we get good views of the city. Benita said, hopefully they're not shitty. <laughs> Nishi, look! Espresso house? What? Oh, that's the TV tower. Oh god, when you look up, it looks like it's moving and about to fall on you. <laughs> that is so scary. It is a cloud, yeah. So we rushed back for what we thought was the last bus. Pretty sure we got on the wrong bus, right? Like, this is something completely different to city sightseeing, top tours. Anyway, we've come to our final destination. You can even hear me from the bus. Uh, Brandenburg Gate, let me show you. Oh, the sun is so nice here. We're headed in that direction. Holocaust Memorial now. We're all sort of doing our own thing so we can't even find one another. You see Jas walking around with his selfie stick and his uh, 360 camera but let me show you the view because you're not here to look at my face. I was just saying that we couldn't find each other and there you are. That's a really good image. It's a really good image. 
is very arty, isn't it? had a few drinks the music in here was quite good when we arrived but now it's not so great it's really pretty up here obviously if it was warmer we could sit but hmm. so i think this bar actually um overlooks berlin zoo which is um where did we come from jess that way so the zoo's that way i think if you walk further down they've blocked it off at the moment you can see the monkeys in the daytime obviously not at the moment because it's really dark and it's actually freezing outside um but yeah, and I think this bar was actually shut throughout the whole of COVID and they literally opened up two days ago. So it took us about an hour, maybe an hour and a half just to queue to get in. The cocktails are so good and it's so nice in here. Let me just show you actually, hold on, there's no people here now. Like it's very dark obviously, my camera's not really quite picking it up, but it'd be so nice to sit out here in the summer or when it's warmer. Morning, we're on day three of our trip, our final day to use our city sightseeing bus tour. I think, were we, go, were we all feeling a little bit delicate this morning? Was it just me? Yeah. Just me. I don't feel delicate. No? No, no, no just, not really we went to bed late, very late. Like 3.30 a.m. It was a good night, sorry. It's the party life without it's the party. It's the party life. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting too old for this. I was just like, ugh. It was just really cold last night. I think that's what did it to me. We weren't hungover. We're going to Flow Market in Mauer Park. I'm probably not pronouncing any of this properly, but it's like a big park that has the biggest flea market in the whole of Europe and on a Sunday they do karaoke from three o'clock onwards so mm. that'd be really interesting in fact you were in one of my very first vlogs years ago don't go looking for it guys I hate my old videos they're like so cringy we were doing karaoke at South Bank on the street hey. <laughs> this is like we've come full circle um, I'm not so sure that we'll be doing karaoke like up on stage or whatever. I don't know how it works here, so I don't know. Yeah, we're probably not going to embarrass sure ourselves. Sure we'll I'll <laughs> give some support. Yeah, he's def you're I'll, definitely. I won't join in, but you know, I get some drinks to you guys and make sure you do go on. I don't even think make we need drinks. We'll just do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's like quiet enough, maybe. Quiet enough. Drink. It won't be quiet. I don't think. Oh, okay. What rum and coke first thing? In I the don't like you know being in public in front of everybody. I won't even walk down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different story. Also, look at how quiet the centre of Berlin is. I think the area we're staying in is called Tiergarten. It literally feels like it's super early in the morning, like it does in London, because there's hardly anyone here, but it's like midday on a Sunday.
Benita is very happy because she's just found vegan and gluten-free baklava and it's all one euro each. Have it, have it, have it. Just in case I've got cold. It's um, almond baklava. Vegan. Very exciting. Should we? Yeah. We're just hungry. <laughs> we never are. We never are. Oh, good, back up. Ah, good to know. Okay, I'm gonna do you yours now. Any? Right? I'm not sure. I want mine right, right now, but have I'll it. <laughs> Go on, okay, Jack. This is pistachio baklava, vegan as well. Yeah. All over my backpack, nice. <laughs> Try it. Mm, all right. Yeah, not bad. All right. You. Okay. Interesting. Not high praise, but you know. We were supposed to go to the East Side Gallery today, but then the brunch place was heaving. There was such a long queue. We had to wait like an hour to get in, and we thought we'd just come all this way to the other side of Berlin and paid for a taxi. We might as well just wait for it. So tomorrow, the East Side Gallery is happening. But yeah, so far, this trip has been really good. Lots of walking, like over. 17,000 steps every day. It's absolutely freezing. We're not prepared, like with our thin jackets. It's really windy as well. And it's just overall very, very cold, but it's a great place for foodies. Everywhere that we've eaten has been exceptionally good, um, which is what a lot of people told us, but it hasn't disappointed. <laughs> It's our final day, full day in Berlin, and we're back at the Visit Roastery, which we came to a couple of days ago. We loved the breakfast here, and it's just arrived. Let me just show you. This is a fried bagel with halloumi and tomatoes. And look at Jasper's, what is it called? Granola bowl. So we've got tropical granola bowl. <laughs> The hostel life is one for you. That might be quite a cool place to stay on a boat. This girl is filming me. I just saw that and I heard a click. I saw on a random blog post called Concierge Coffee, but it's like a takeaway thing. We walked quite a long way to get here, so we're gonna get a coffee and just sit outside in the sun. So we were literally just on the other side of this river at Concierge Coffee, sat in the sun, it was so nice. We just walked all the way round because Benita has found this place called Bramble's Donuts and everything is vegan. Bean and fish. It's a bee's thing. 
translate literally to say it means thing. Oh. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? So oh. because I think in the original there's honey. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, but not in ours obviously. Ah, okay, that's interesting, isn't it? I was just sat here thinking about when I'm going to end this vlog because tonight is our last night in Berlin and we've got like a really nice restaurant booked for dinner not the one we originally wanted to book don't ask what my hair's doing um, but another one and we've all just received a text from Ryanair to say that our flight has been cancelled because there's a German security strike and all German airports are closed and now we're sat here like how do we get home? what do we do? this guy is loving it he's Mom. like yes we get an extra day it's not our last night <laughs> this girl is stressed i mean she has glasses and sunglasses on her head which shows the level of stress <laughs> she's on a live chat and trying to call ryanair and i'm just sat here wondering if i brought an extra pair of knickers with me i'm not giving you mine <laughs> why i always bring one extra there's a that's your biggest worry nish <laughs> oh yeah that's just pants isn't it <laughs> We find ourselves back at Monkey Bar after a very stressful couple of hours trying to get hold of Rhino customer service live chat that kept disconnecting her and then they didn't understand English. It's giving me stress stomach pains. It's been a nightmare, but we have a nice dinner booked at Nenny, yeah. which we couldn't get a reservation for the other day. So we're going to go there now for the dinner. 9.30 p.m. It was actually really lucky that we, like fortunate that we booked a late dinner, otherwise we wouldn't have had time to sort out our flights. We panic bought flights while we were sat at some like kebab stall on the street. She booked the wrong day, <laughs> then I booked the right ones. We've got like three sets of flights now, leaving Berlin, but we'll get a <laughs> refund. We've overpaid, it's been a nightmare. We're gonna argue it when we get home and speak to like some English speaking representative because uh, they just didn't have a clue. I'm not taking any crap now, considering I nearly caused half the issues. <laughs> well, if we hadn't booked it, if it wasn't for you and rush booking it, all the flights are now sold out until Friday. Today's yeah. Monday, so we've been stuck here forever. Yes. Oh, at least made it to this website. She's a little bit olive oil, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is our final day in Berlin. We're still not over the food from last night. It was so bad. We went to a place called Nenny, which I'm pretty sure I vlogged, and it's very overhyped. In fact, it was the most expensive meal that we've had in Berlin and by far the worst. <laughs> I got some Asian aubergine dish which had no flavour, no spices. It was literally just aubergine in a tomato -y sauce with undercooked sushi rice. It's very rare for me to like not finish what's on my plate, especially to leave more than half of the food on my plate. It was that bad. Couldn't stomach it. Um, Benita didn't like any of her hummus, which had a lot of horseradish in it. The baba ganoush wasn't that great. Jas didn't like his chicken, whatever he got. It was just terrible food. The waitress was pretty rude. Um, it was just very overpriced and would not recommend that at all. Finally trying a currywurst because we found a vegan place. Every time we walk past one, they're closed or we're not hungry. So we've just found this place, this little hut. Very excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I wish my hair was I can't even see you actually, it's backlight, so. <laughs> oh, this is burning my fingers. Vegan curry worst. Exciting times. This one doesn't really give it any justice. It's not very nice, is it? Not this one. So this curry worst has like a tomato sauce as opposed to a curry sauce. And there's a thing called like curry powder onto it. In our hotel breakfast, they had curry worst, but not vegan or vegetarian. It was like normal pork sausages and some curry sauce on the side. I tried the curry sauce, and that was actually quite nice. So I kind of had high hopes for this, but nah, not a fan. Are you guys a fan? Not this one. I've definitely tried the, the sausage in the hotel one. That's much better. Yeah. Better this one. Okay, I'll go for the second one. Yeah. Anything else? Here is a vegan kebab wrap, chili cheese fries. Do you think because it's Einstein 
Hopey will give us a bit of... <laughs> Here's to hoping. I look so tired. We've had a really chilled start to the day. We thought we'd try the breakfast in the hotel this morning, which was actually really nice. A lot of vegan options, which was really good, like vegan cold cuts, which we definitely weren't expecting. And then we all just sort of did our own thing, like went for a walk, read a book. I started editing this video. We were gonna go to the pool, but we just couldn't be bothered in the end. But it is about 8.30 p.m. So I thought this would be a really good time to wrap up my vlog because we've literally just booked a taxi for 2 30 in the morning i don't know how we're gonna wake up like honestly that is literally a couple of hours after i normally go to bed i don't know how i'm gonna sleep this early but we need to pack up the rest of our stuff and hopefully there's no issues with our flights so we can actually leave the country and potentially go back to work tomorrow so i'm gonna end this video here thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon hopefully not too long um with a new video bye